Hi everyone, Kathy and Fox here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to survive a convention, a furcon to be more specific. Man, I'm short, I need to adjust this camera. <laughs> Furcons, you just spend so long just thinking about what you're going to do, who you're going to meet, that's awesome, it just preoccupies your mind for the most part. However, when you actually get to the con, there are some things you should be doing, and also before you go, there's some things you should be doing. So this video is not like an all-inclusive list. This is just tips and tricks that I personally have found out work wonders. So before you even get to the con, there are some things you can do. If you're traveling by airplane, for example, your con's really far away, I don't know, Narnia or something, it would help if you can look up different plane tickets and how much they cost beforehand. If you get your tickets for a certain con earlier, you can save a lot of money that way. Having more money equals more furry trash to buy in the dealer's den. Another thing you can do before the con actually starts, pack all the food and snacks you want beforehand. Make sure you get like granola bars or instant ramen. It's something easy to make. It might not be the most nutritious thing ever, but as a college student, I was able to do it. You can too. The great thing about having those types of foods is they're really easy to prepare. A lot of cons have restaurants around them that can add up if you keep eating out whenever you go to a convention. Having a snack or just a granola bar handy and nearby can make it a lot more reasonable on your wallet. I actually made it through most of Indie Fur Con last year on a diet of nothing but granola bars. Sure, I got tired of it after a while, but it was just so much money I ended up saving. Also, make sure that you bring plenty of water. I can't emphasize this enough. Having water is a great thing because if you're suiting, you're gonna be sweating so much, it's not even funny. Unless that's your thing and you laugh at people who sweat. Even if you don't suit, having water is great because uh, we all can't run off of alcohol and energy drinks 24 seven. So having some way of keeping your body alive while you're enjoying the sights of the convention is a great thing to have. Food and water, your basic needs before you go to a con. Another thing you can do before going to a convention is look around on the app called Telegram and see if there are any room sharing groups or even just the cons group in general on Telegram. You'll end up finding a lot of people on that app who are looking around at the con to meet new people and say hi and you might not even know about it in real time until it's too late. Telegram's great if you haven't used it before. It allows you to see what everybody's doing in real time. And it's a great way for being able to just meet up with somebody. And let's face it, at a convention, a lot of times people are, <laughs> con videos make it seem like everybody's bouncing around all over the place, but that's usually just the highlights of a con. There's actually times where it's just really chill. People just be sitting around <laughs> until like the next panel happens. It's not all just action, action, action. So having Telegram is a good tool because when you're sitting around on the bench, not really doing much, you can check Telegram and see if anybody around is open to hang out or to say hi. So yes, downloading Telegram before you get to the con. So another thing you can do before you go to the con is make a checklist and have all the items that you want before the con in that checklist. There's numerous apps out there that you can get. Uh, one of the ones I personally use is that sticky note app. Uh, you can get it off of the Google Play Store. But that app is great because you're able to just write down everything you need ahead of time and just check it off before you get there. Hopefully while you're watching this video and you're thinking of going to a con, just start making a checklist now. It's never too late to be prepared. For example, before I went to a con, I didn't have a checklist app. I thought I had everything I needed before I went to it. I was supposed to do a panel on making YouTube videos. However, I forgot something important to have with me. It was a little piece that goes below the camera. 
so it can be mounted to the tripod. Now that small tiny piece was a huge impact. I was supposed to film a video at the panel and it never happened. So yeah, checklists are great. And the last piece you can do before the con starts is just to make sure that you budget your money effectively. So say for example, you only set aside like 500 or 400 dollars for the con. Make sure you segment that money for things you absolutely need first and then whatever's left over you can use on extra stuff like art or you know badges which I guess is art so yeah badges. The other amount of money you have can be spent for food and other necessities so make sure you have a budget before you go. Fur cons are really easy to spend a lot of money. Having that extra layer of preparedness, is that a word? Pre prepared, preparedness will really go the extra mile for helping you out. I'm going to move on to the stuff you can do when you're actually at the convention. Make sure you hydrate. It is so easy to lose track of time and just forget to even drink water until you start to get thirsty, at which point it's too late because once you start feeling thirsty your body's pretty much like hey you should probably be drinking water right now make sure you have plenty of water and you hydrate at the con i have not personally seen it but i've heard stories of people passing out in pursuit and i've even heard stories of people passing out when they weren't in pursuit make sure you bring water with you it's super important and it's needed for survival. Another thing you can do when you're at the con is make sure you get plenty of sleep. I am super guilty of this. I, I get so caught up in everything going on at the con that I kind of forget to just set aside some time to catch some Z's. It's, there's just so much activity and fun stuff going on that it's really easy to just lose yourself. So make sure you at least get, I'd say, four four to five hours of sleep at a minimum say for example you get to a con on a friday and the con ends on a sunday if you keep going at that sleep cycle you're gonna be like dead by the time that monday rolls around ah, i've been there don't do it it's not fun i actually had a physical training test for the air force right after a con ended uh, on a monday i was just blasted from the weekend and if I didn't pass it it would be really bad so I had an extra layer of stress added on to the fact that I only had about maybe two hours of sleep the entire convention another thing to do when you're actually at the con is to make sure that you shower Ugh, I can't count the number of times I have smelled someone before I met them now what this means is I shouldn't be able to smell you before I see you in the hallway at a con. I can understand how you can get really busy at a con, but just hygiene. Please. Just having a simple shower, either in the morning or at night, or really whenever. Whatever is easiest for you. Ugh, showers are great. Especially if you've been fursuiting because <laughs> On the inside, it, it gets really sweaty. It might not smell at first, but give it like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes of just sitting out there and drying. Ugh, it's not a good smell at all. Another thing to bring with you is if you're first sitting, make sure you bring some rubbing alcohol. You can get it at Walmart or pretty much anywhere really. It's isopropyl alcohol, and that's a fancy way of saying that it's just rubbing alcohol. What that'll do is it'll help get rid of any of the smells and it will actually disinfect the suit. So you're able to preserve your suit longer and not have to worry about bacteria and other gross stuff like just destroying an expensive piece of artwork that you're wearing. Make sure you bring a spray bottle of some type to disinfect your suit. And finally, the last thing you should bring with you at a con is a fursuit brush. You might spend the longest amount of time brushing your suit but if you do anything if you move anywhere your fur is just gonna pretty much start to get matted kind of like how it is right now while i'm filming this video having a fursuit brush on hand like in a backpack or just even having your handler have that fursuit brush is awesome because if you need to stop and brush your suit uh you typically do that at like a headless lounge like i'll usually carry my slicker brush with me in my backpack. It makes it a lot easier because I don't have to worry about somebody wanting to take a photo and my suit doesn't look the way I want it to. It helps make your suit not look gross. So brush your fursuit. 
All right, thank you everybody for watching today's episode. Hopefully these tips help you out. They certainly helped me out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if this content helped you out in any way, comment, brush in the comment section below. And just a reminder, I also have a PO box set up. So if you wanna send me any stuff, just send it to the address in the description below. All right, thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have an excellent weekend. Bye, wash your suit.